Okay, hello and welcome back to the Sims Free Life with the Hunt family. And just last week, his big concert thing was a big success. In fact, uh, Sunset Valley Council have actually um, commissioned him to set up a uh, do a rock concert later on this series. But enough of that for now. For now, as for now, he is trying to. Um, with the success of his rock concert, he's decided to try and open a um, music club. Now, um, he was kind of the person who owns this place and he commissioned it and someone else built it though and they haven't really used it, so he's going to buy it back after talking to this or having his photo taken, even though he's just famous for being a businessman. And he's collapsed. Right, I know this is cheating, but this needs to be done. Anyway, so buy this property, which she's going to do now. In the meantime, we'll just quickly have a go up to Sugars and have a look at what's going on around there. Oh, nope. He's done it, he's brought it. Right, so now we can real estate. First of all, check upgrade requirements. There's quite a lot. Uh, real estate, buy on this lot. Oh, wait a second, what, I'm just curious. What's this? Zen. Oh, I don't even remember visiting that place. That build on lot, because the lot needs to be built on first. Right, first thing we need is like a main entrance. I think it's fair to say we've got that. So now what we need is like a back part to the club, make the club a bit bigger, so nice ex juicy extension, and a side part. So you're not going to really, well you're not supposed to drive to a club are you, because drink driving is legal. So um, We're not going to do that, but we're going to get rid of the roof here and build yet more wall stuff. So this is a double level level club now. Go along here. Go back up to here. What we'll do is have something like a private lounge or something up here, I think. Now, auto roof is obviously switched off. I need to decide what type of roof I want, though. Now, I don't think a pointy roof really fits in with this sort of area, so I'm going to use the same roof I've got on Sugar's the flat roof. But <coughs> <coughs> ah, sorry. I uh, still got the cold I had last time. <coughs> ah, I'm sorry. Ah, uh, very sorry. Ah, oh God. I will stop doing that. Well, I'll try and stop doing that. I can't promise anything. Anyway, so new roof fitted. Right now, what does the outside need to look like? Now I'm started sniffing, haven't I? I'm thinking brickwork, some masonry, and something that will sort of fit in with what it's around. So we're looking at this place. It's got very white sort of bricks. Um, how does that actually looks quite good. Bear in mind it's a club. Now, being a nightclub, it's they're not going to have any like windows or anything to let light in because they don't need it. Yeah, so I can find some fancy late night doors. There are no fancy late night doors. Except for those look good. I reckon with some big windows either side. Like. Hmm, not even. Ah, there they are. Just change the colour. Like these. Right, now 
so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly stop this then record silently speed it all up make it look all professional and whatever and then you can join me again afterwards that's if I remember to do a voiceover over it as well which I might forget because I tend to forget things like that right so um yeah I'm now building uh, sorry I've my cold has got even worse since you, I did the original recording of this and so I'll sound really bad and also because I'm doing this in the edited version or the video editing software um, I can now see it in the perspective you'll see it in and I'll be honest there's nothing really I was really worried that you're missing a lot of the bottom bit out it's just tiny bit. You can't see how much money uh, my son's families have had, but I'll, I'll point that out. I mean, um, flat Mr. Plough, no, I mean, um, Ben Plough, he's got about 3,000. Sugar, he's got about 900,000. And Mr. Hunt has about 800-something thousand. Uh, that's all I can remember. And I'm going to keep sniffing. I don't know why the sound's just gone off. Whether that's just because it might not it might just be because this is like pre edited. And so, um it's sounds weird to me. Like sometimes there are moments where the video footage stops, just freezes in the editing software, which it won't do for you, because you're watching the final version. Right, here we're just building a bar because I forgot, I forgot I'm completely, I'm supposed to be telling you what I'm doing. Uh, in here, I'm just putting some lights in for the toilet. So I'm trying to use as much late night stuff as I can because I do think it's quite good. This is a men's toilet, so urinals there and just free sinks with a big mirror. The women's, there's more cubicles because I don't think you get, well I know you don't get urinals in the female toilets. And mirrors again. I used the big mirrors to make it look all modern. Now in here was um, like a special separate dining room which also had a bar there as you can see. Um, the new bars in late night, well they're not new now because late night's been out for a while but they do fit in with um, the cubicle or the desk, the kitchen surfaces. So I just used that to my advantage. Um, yeah. That now these seats are really I like them because they join together, but they aren't half annoying to try and rearrange. Especially later on, you'll see I'll take them upstairs. And here I'm now putting, trying to put a lift in, trying to find a suitable place to do it. I get rid of the little desk thing there, put it in there, build around it so there's a clear where the lift is, and then put another one up in up here. I wasn't sure how to do, because I wanted to have a sort of balcony thing, but in the end I decided to settle for it just going right the way around and having windows, which you'll see me put in in a minute. Here I go. Ah, sorry. This area you're seeing up here is going to be my VIP room, as most um, places seem to have them in The Sims 3. Just trying to keep that all of... Um, Samey, symmetrical, and a new bar desk up here. And I believe up here I went for use these chairs again. This is a bit where it got really annoying. So I went up to the end, and then I thought I'd do it like that. So you know how you sometimes get them, those sort of chairs like that. Took a while because I keep jumping into place then decided to get rid of all those chairs and then I mean it's taking a long time with the sped up footage imagine how long it actually took me to do this I, mean, I think this is about 10 times as fast and I mean, the raw footage has taken up a large percentage of my memory space so I got it left available I think I even left the last two chairs as they were because I just couldn't be bothered um, yeah See, I'm just going to spend ages to here just trying to rearrange. And I'm kind of
constantly looking down at the bottom to see when I should stop talking or prepare to stop talking because I believe this build is nearly finished either the next clip or the clip after that it will finish so I'm prepared to stop ok there we go it's not completely finished and someone has just walked right through the barriers the venue now meets the minimum zoning requirements to be open for business congratulations get ready to earn those uh, yes, I'll quickly pause it so you don't have to read about them too. Alright, I'm just going to set access to these now. Um, I think this is how you do it. Go into build mode. Let's hit control and shift. Um, set access level. Limited. Um, Sackholtz, Loud Mermaids, I'm not going to let any of those people in because they're all weird, um, let's set a bribe amount, um, there we go, now here, up here we've got a similar setup except for I can't actually see them, they just disappeared weirdly. Let's just set high wall. There we go, they're back. It's connected to a VIP room, yes. Yes. Now let's set celebrity level at at least one. So quite a few celebrities in town now, and it's quite a big VIP room.